My name is Robert Yawe. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a financial literacy coach and uh, I also lecture at one of the local universities. Mm-hmm. And um, what else do you want to know? Mm, you said you bought Unga last week. Um, I know you buy local clothes. I really like that about yourself. But do you want to talk about the economy? Are you saying that it's not because of Ukraine and the dollar that everything has gone haywire right about now? Uh, I, th- I think we, the term is the straw that broke the camel's back. Mm. This camel has been overloaded for long enough. Mm. So all that these things have done is broken its back. So let's stop blaming the straw because that is what is really what you're calling the dollar and the rest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 20 years ago, we never imported cooking fat. What happened? Mm-hmm. We never used to import cooking fat? No. We used to have our own wheat. We mm-hmm. grew enough wheat to mm-hmm. feed ourselves. Mm-hmm. We grew enough maize to feed ourselves. So when is this when we became too important to farm? Mm. But yet we still want to eat. I, I think that's where we need to go back and ask ourselves. Mm-hmm. We lost it at some point. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's very interesting because it's good I didn't come yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, because then yesterday I had uh, a conference call with a lecturer from uh, one of the Singapore universities. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I mentioned this statement that in 1965, Kenya and Singapore Singapore were at the same level. Yep. Then she said something very interesting. She said, you know, you need to understand something we call rate of change. Mm -hmm. Singapore was accelerating in 1965. Kenya was cruising. Mm -hmm. And that is why Singapore is miles ahead of us. Mm. Because unfortunately, not only have we been cruising, but we've been decelerating. Mm Mm-hmm. That's where our problem started. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, so we need to go back and ask ourselves, when did the rain start beating us? It's not when the dollar got to 90. It's not when the dollar got to 120. It's when the dollar went from 20 to 30 shillings. You know, I'm mm-hmm. sure the time the dollar was extending at 20. Mm-hmm. Do you know, I read the other day how there's a time, I think in the late 70s or early 80s, in Nigeria, the dollar and the naira is go for one for one. Can you imagine? In this Africa, I was like, that's insane. That's unheard of. Mm-hmm. So just hearing that the dollar would go for 20 shillings in this country, oh my gosh. Not 20. I exchanged the dollar one time at 8 shillings. What? Okay. Uh, just says a lot about how old I must be. Oh my Aye. God. Which year was that? That like the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> Not not act- interesting. It's early seventies. What the the pound was at twenty shillings. That's why it was called a pound. Mm. It was at twenty shillings. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. So, <laughs> so maybe part of our problem is that we are refusing to look at history mm. and to use it to determine how we got here. Mm. Yes. So maybe when did the rain start beating us, and what did you do? It started when we started looking down at the farmer. Mm. The minute the farmer walks into the pub. Mm and he's looked down upon mm. is when the problem started mm. and so what he decided or she decided is let me take my children to school and keep them away from the land but yet everything you mentioned comes from what you talked of maize comes from land eggs from land skooma from land from land meat from land so how do you stop tilling the land and expect to continue to eat it, it's basic knowledge. I think biblical. It's even said. Yes. Yes. 